In today's video, we're going to try lots of delicious food here in Singapore. I am at a beautiful location right next to the ocean. There are plenty of hawker stalls here. Let's see how good the food is here in Singapore and is it comparable to the delicious food of the nearby countries. Join me and let's eat. All right, so this is the East Coast Lagoon Food Village right here and there are in total 61 hawker stalls to choose from. So I think plenty of options for us to get an impression of the food here in Singapore. You have oyster omelette here. Oh, that looks interesting actually. Okay, we have different types of noodles here. Oh, hockey and me is also delicious usually. I think I'm gonna go with the prawn omelette. Can I get a prawn omelette? Yeah, okay. The, the, $6, the six dollar? Okay, have you the uh, I can eat here, right? Okay. Yeah? Okay, let's start the food adventure here with the prawn omelette. I heard that uh, these oyster and prawn omelettes are actually very popular here. So this should be like an easy meal as a starter. Okay, while well, he is preparing the prawn omelette, we can have a quick look around. Let me show you the, the location actually. So we have in total 61 hawker stalls right here. So it is quite a large food court. And then yeah, in the middle you can choose where you want to sit. Lots of seats available. It is now late afternoon. I guess it will get more busy here in the evening. And yeah, all the different food that you can think of when you think of Singapore food is basically available around here. And yeah, now he freshly prepares the omelette over there. That's the good thing about these uh, hawker stalls. It's freshly made. It's usually very quick as well. Oh, it actually looks like a big portion. I'm wondering how big is the 8 and the 10 dollar version then. By the way, this is Singapore dollar, not US dollar. Don't get confused. This is one portion? Yeah. Oh, it looks so much. <laughs> But yeah, I'm trying to order small portions because yeah, obviously I want to try lots of different foods around here. And while I'm waiting for the food, there's a fan right here. Whew, it is very hot in Singapore once again, especially if you're walking around all day. So the fan is actually uh, much needed now. <laughs> okay, while we're waiting, let's get a drink as well. Homemade Bandung. I think I saw that before in Malaysia, but I think I've never tried it before. And I'm just seeing they're also selling uh, napkins here, tissues, which might is a good idea to buy because yeah we're going to eat lots of food and I don't think they have napkins on the tables yeah that's probably why they're selling them here how much 40 cent 40 cent yeah. and can I also get uh, bandung okay let's see what the bandung drink is like so it looks like he's using syrup over there and then water and then oh he's adding uh, condensed milk I think Oh, this is actually a very sweet drink, I think, then. And we're filling it up with ice. Okay. 250? 250. Yeah, a straw. And then we have a pink drink. Let's give it a try right away because I'm very thirsty. Oh, it has like a typical uh, rosé flavor. Very sweet as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm not sure if I'm, uh, I'm a big fan of this. I think it's way too sweet for me, to be honest. <laughs> But I wanted to try it. I've never tried it before, so I'm always curious to try new drinks. Oh, oh that looks very good. Yeah, thank you. Ah, is this uh, spicy? Uh, normal. Normal. Sweet okay. sour. Ah, sweet Sushi. sour. Ah, okay, okay, That's, that should be fine. How much? Six dollars. Six dollars. Ah, right. uh, ten right here. Okay. Okay, thank yeah, you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, let's see. One. Hopefully, okay. okay. <laughs> Yeah, the plate actually is very, very light. It's not a plastic uh, plate. I'm not sure what this material is called in English, but it's very, very easily breakable. So you have to be careful right here. Okay, the first meal of the day, definitely not going to be the last one. All right, it looks like this. And let me tell you, it smells really, really delicious. And I'm really looking forward, especially to the prawn. So chopsticks, let's go. I'm very hungry, actually. I, uh, I had breakfast in the morning and now it's late afternoon. I didn't eat on purpose uh, for lunch because I wanted to be hungry for this food tour. So let's try with a prawn right here. A bit chewy, which is usually, I think, not a good sign. But uh, still this typical prawn flavor, which I really like by now. Oh, actually, it's very good, yeah. Oh, okay, let's continue. So this is probably just a uh, regular omelette. Actually, I think there's something else inside. Like, you can see this right here. I'm not sure what this is. Maybe some noodles? But it's definitely, there's more inside than just egg. So if you know what is inside here, feel free to let me know. Help me out in the comments. So this makes this meal heavier than just a regular omelette, definitely. But it is a good... A good start for today. 
But yeah, let's try it together with the sweet chili sauce, as you said. Let's pour it over. Yeah, definitely. The salt is more sweet and spicy. <coughs> Although, oh, maybe I should have waited a little while. A little spicy aftertaste, but definitely handleable for me. Anyway, great start. Let me finish this and then we have some more. Let's see what these guys are offering here. A satay? Satay? Yes, a barbecue prawn. Ah, you have satay here? Yes, this one. Oh, but there's music here. Oh, but I can't eat when there's music. Oh. Because I make a video. Yeah, that's the difficulties when you're filming a YouTube video in public places. Obviously, there are places that are, uh, that are having music. And yeah, in case you don't know, if there's just 10 seconds of music in the background of the videos, then I get a copyright claim on my videos. Hi, Hello. How are you? How are you? Ah, there's no music here. You have delicious satay right here? Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, delicious satay. What, uh, what kind chicken, of satay? Mutton chicken, and beef. mutton and beef. Yeah, these are chicken, these are mutton okay. and those are beef. What is different? These are tried. What is different about the satay in Singapore compared to like Malaysia or Thailand? It's just the same. It's the same? It's the same. Ah, oh, same, same. Okay. I would like to try it, yeah. Okay. Minimum 10, sir. You can make. Minimum 10? Yeah, five, five, chicken and mutton or chicken and beef. How much is 10 pieces? Uh, Nine dollars. Nine dollar. Very cheap. So it? almost one dollar per piece. A little almost, bit less. Almost. Okay, what, what can you recommend? Which is the best? I would recommend you, highly recommend you uh, chicken and uh, mutton. Chicken and mutton? Yeah. This is the most popular, what most oh, yes, people take? Yes, of okay, so which is the chicken? Uh, this is chicken. This one is the chicken? Yeah. Ah, okay, so we have chicken right here. Then this is yeah, mutton. This mutton. Yeah. mutton. And beef? This are beef. Uh, and beef right over uh, there. Yeah. Oh, maybe I'm just. Yeah, almost the same, yeah. Maybe I'm just going to mix. Beef, uh, yeah. Mix. Chicken and mutton. And beef. Five, five, five. No, uh, I need to get all the taste. Three, three, three. No, I mean ten minimum. Yeah, three, 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 and then one extra chicken. So three mutton, three beef, and four chicken. That's okay. <laughs> no, they have to be at five, five, five. You know. In, so, uh, in a group, but never mind. So I cannot get. Can, three can, okay, no problem. Can, can? My, my manager say okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> Alright, so your chicken will be four. Are you writing it on the on the plate here? Yeah. Okay. Mutton, three. Okay, so and three pieces beef. mutton, three yeah. pieces of beef, and four pieces of chicken. Okay. And then, is well, there something like coming? The yeah, it comes with the sauce. Sauce and uh, cucumber yeah, as well? Sauce. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's peanut sauce, right? Yeah, peanut sauce. Oh, ah, okay. So, uh, yeah, it okay. seems to be like uh, the same as in Malaysia, for example. Nine dollars. Nine dollars? Yep. Pay first? Yep. Oh, okay. Easier for you, no? Easier, yeah. yeah. Then uh, we don't forget about it later. Okay, maybe... Oh, I think I will sit over there. Okay, we'll do. Because there's music over there. Okay, we'll do. Ah, ten okay, right here. Yeah, okay, you We have ten dollars. And then, well, it's actually pretty hot here, right in front of the grill. How can you how can you stand the heat here all, all day? I'm used to it. <laughs> You're used to it. Hey, yeah. You are my friend. Yeah, so. Where are you from? I'm from Germany. Yeah. Germany, yeah. yeah. You're from Singapore? I'm a hundred percent. Hundred percent Singapore? Singaporean. Yeah. Immigrant. Immigrant? Yeah. Ah, where where are you from? Huh? Didn't listen to me. Uh, yeah, I can get a drink over there. Okay. I I have to pick it up, or you will bring no, it. No, we send it to you. You send it to me. Okay, okay that sounds okay, good. Okay. okay. You want to say hello to the vlog? <laughs> no, you got YouTube. Yes, yes. Okay, let I follow. You. YouTube and TikTok and Facebook. <laughs> oh, and you also have uh, prawns here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh wow. Maybe I should have ordered with a prawn. Yeah, it's a tiger prawn. We call it tiger prawn. Yeah, one is three dollars. From the ocean right here. Hmm? From the ocean here? No, no, no. No? no. These are we are import. Ah, uh, import. Yeah. Ah, they're not so fresh, right? Ah, uh, no. If you import, but there are some. There are some. There are some. Yeah. Cool. It is hot in here. Also, the, the heat is like uh, being collected uh, under the roof here. So. Oh. Hello. Uh, I'm good for now. Maybe later. Uh, let me find a good table actually. Because there's a noisy aircon here. Or music. I have to keep many things in mind when you're filming these videos. And I am now joined by my friend Michael. 
who already got some drinks. Oh, thank you very much. No problem. Enjoy. Cheers. Oh, what, are, what are you having here? Uh, barley. Barley? Yes. Good, I hope. Oh, you never tried it? I never <laughs> tried it in Singapore. I tried it in Malaysia and Malaysia it was okay. Ah, he recently uh, moved to Singapore actually. How, how long are you already here now? Uh, one month. One month already? And how long you plan to stay? I know. Open end? Open end. What made you move to Asia's most expensive country? I would say the food. <laughs> the food? <laughs> yes. You find food everywhere including this place. So if the food is good, we stay here. All right, there's the food coming. Okay. okay. There you are. All right, that looks really good. Okay. Enjoy. When I finish this, uh, I put the trash. Okay. Uh, yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Actually, I think let's move over there because I think the aircon here is very noisy. Yeah, it looks exactly like the satay you can get in uh, Malaysia, in Thailand and I guess in Indonesia as well. Yeah. You have been to Indonesia, right? I've been to Indonesia. Yeah. Similar. Yeah. Similar. Have you tried satay in Singapore before? No. Okay. First time for us then. Let's uh, see if it's better than uh, at the neighboring countries. Okay, which one do you want to try? So I have mutton, chicken and beef. I guess this is the chicken one. Okay, and I guess this is the red one. This is the mutton, I think, and then beef should be the darker one. Okay, let's try mutton. Right. Cheers. <laughs> Dip it into the sauce. Okay, sauce first. To me, it's spicy. I love spicy food. So. It is spicy? But maybe because of the... Do you think the sauce makes it spicy or the... I think the there it was previously spicy and I put in the spinach sauce and it became better. Actually, the sauce is a bit different compared to the sauce I'm used from, to Mal uh, from Malaysia. Yeah. It's a bit more sweet. Right, exactly. In Malaysia it's more peanutty, this one is a bit more sweet. Exactly, yeah. Worth good. <coughs> oh. <coughs> oh, I was not expecting that. Sneaky sneaky. <coughs> oh, that kicks in late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh. Okay, it's not, not that sweet, it's, there's a spicy aftertaste to it. I think the cucumber is here to reduce the level of spiciness. When you have a spicy mouth, eat a cucumber. To be honest, usually I'm not a big fan of mutton. Like I definitely prefer chicken, pork or beef over mutton. Yeah, mutton is usually a bit chewy. So this is a bit chewy, but uh, the taste is actually not bad. How's the chicken? I think the chicken is the best one. Okay, so what's actually interesting here, they have non-halal sections where you place the food and then some are also halal. Okay, little break from all the food. Let's actually have a look around the area here because I think it's really worth to have a look around here. So we have the beach right there, the ocean. We will head there in a minute. First of all, there's a little lake here as well, which I think you can use for wakeboarding. So the whole area here along the beach, it's like, uh, I don't know, like hundreds of meters, maybe even a few kilometers. There's uh, yeah, this park area right next to the ocean. And this looks like a fun activity to do here. Oh, wakeboarding with these machines here. Probably uh, very beginner friendly. Better than uh, doing it out there on the ocean if you're doing it for the first time. <laughs> it also looks like people are doing their own barbecue here right by the beach. There are some barbecue stations here which I think everyone can use. I have seen something similar before in Australia. There also you can find public barbecue places which are free to use. And it looks like it's a similar concept here as well. Let me know in the comments if that is right, if anyone is just allowed to use the barbecue places here. And yeah, before we're heading back to get more delicious food over there, let me quickly tell you about a problem that I come across very often as a full-time traveler. And the problem is that many websites on the internet have different types of content available depending on your location. For example, when I want to watch the highlights of the German football Bundesliga on YouTube, it's not available to watch here in Singapore or any other country outside of Germany. So I can't watch it when I'm traveling. But luckily I also have a solution for that something that I can recommend to anyone especially if you are traveling a lot and that is Surfshark VPN yeah if you are not using a VPN service yet I can highly recommend to start using one with a VPN you can virtually change the location of your phone or your laptop to basically anywhere in the world so I can easily just change my location virtually back to Germany and then I am able to watch the highlights of the German Bundesliga and yeah not only on YouTube you have this problem also on many other websites across the internet and another good thing about using a VPN it encrypts the 
the data that is sent between your phone or your laptop and the internet and therefore your personal information, your private data becomes safer. And personally, I am using Surfshark VPN for almost two years already now. I can highly recommend them. It is the only VPN to offer one account for unlimited devices. And if you want to check them out as well, you can click the link in the description or on the pinned comment. And if you enter the promo code CAN, you can get three extra months for free. And they also have a 30 day money back guarantee. So you can test it out without any risk. Thanks to Surfshark for sponsoring today's video. And now let's get more food over there. All right, let's try sugarcane juice in Singapore. Hello. I would like to try sugarcane juice. Okay. Do you make it fresh here? Fresh? Okay. Yeah, sugarcane juice is very popular all around Southeast Asia. And they have these uh, sticks right here. And then they... Oh, can I film it? Oh, and then they put it into the machine. And then they squeeze the juice out of it. And it's very sweet. Oh, I see you have a Germany t-shirt. Germany. Ah, oh, I am from Germany. Oh, he has a German flag on his t-shirt. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. All right, and then we have delicious, hopefully delicious sugar cane juice here. Wow. So you don't add sugar, right? No. Just uh, the natural sweetness from the juice. All right. Do you want one as well? Um, I think I want the homemade lime juice better. Homemade lime juice. Yes. Okay. All right. Let's see how he makes the lime juice. Oh, it's prepared already. <laughs> but you made it before, or is it like pre-prepared? Pre-prepared, okay. Yes. So this one is better because it's fresh. Yes. I think. <laughs> Five dollar. Okay. Okay, so the juice for you. Thank you. And then my first time trying sugarcane juice in Singapore. Let's see if it's the same as in the other Asian countries. Oh, this one has a really strong sugarcane flavor to it. Wow, that's actually really nice. And I think, uh, like, how much water? Usually, some or some of the places you buy these, they mix it a lot with water, so then the taste gets very watery, and the sugarcane taste itself gets reduced. But this one, actually, despite water being added as well and ice cubes, there's still a strong sugarcane flavor to it. It's like the calamansi juice in the Philippines. Oh, like calamansi juice in the yes, Philippines. That's why oh. I ordered the lime juice because oh. I kind of was expecting it. Miss the Philippines. <laughs> And Germany t-shirt over there. <laughs> why, why do you have a Germany t-shirt? I think it's because of the beer. Uh, ah, the beer? Yeah. Well, what, what, what beer brand is it? Uh, Karlsberg. Karlsberg, but that's not a German brand. No, 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 no. No, no but they have a t-shirt with German flag, that's interesting. Yeah, they have different flags actually. Ah, so it's like, uh, like for the World Cup, like yes, a special yeah, edition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. Well, unfortunately, Germany didn't make it that far in the last World Cup. <laughs> we got kicked out after the, the first three games. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> uh, we can get the carrot cake, we can share it because it's like the Singaporean thing. Carrot cake is Singaporean thing? Yeah. So which one is the best one? Black and white? Black, white or mixed? I have no idea. Maybe let's get the $7 mixed version. Okay. Oh, they also have crispy carrot cake or sweet delicious carrot cake. What do you think? Which one should we choose? Sweet, delicious, sweet, sounds awesome. delicious, sounds better. <laughs> <laughs> what can you recommend? What is the best one? Uh, you can try the carrot cake. White and the, you can try the white, uh, the black and the white. Together. What's the difference between black and white carrot black cake? Black is uh, uh they, they actually put sweet sauce. Sweet sauce. Ah, sweet. ah okay. And the white one is just normal. Oh, thank you for your help. Right, no worries. Let's get the mixed one then. Okay. Black and white mixed carrot cake. Uh, black and white mixed carrot cake seven. Yeah, spicy. Uh, spicy? Yes, no. Um, for me, no. But if you want, we can we can add spicy. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Can put the chili on the side. Did you order with uh, spicy? Uh, no, no. I said the chili on the side. Chili on the side. Okay, okay, okay. Good. What actually is it? I'm still not sure what it is. Uh, so it looks like an omelet, but so carrot. Just to get it right, it's this orange vegetable, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah and okay. it's somewhere here. <laughs> but I don't see anything that looks like the carrot that I know. Hmm. I don't know either. But okay. what I know that is this is the thing in, in this Singapore. Is the thing in Singapore, okay. Yes. All right, let's give it a try. So we have the, the right one and the black one, and we also have... The prawn one. Little prawns as well. Let's try these prawns. 
Now they taste very different compared to the prawns I had earlier. They are more fishy, more okay. ocean flavor to it. Let me try the black one. Okay, so whatever it is. Sweet and savory. Like Sweet the, and savory? Yeah, like the name suggests. Mm -hmm. A bit spicy. The carrot seems to be... Oh, it's actually really good. Somewhere hidden. Oh, it's very soft. Like you don't need to chew it. I assume there's a carrot somewhere hidden inside, but I don't see it. Okay, so this side is very delicious. Let's see if this one is different. Mm. I think the, the white one is even better. The white one doesn't have the oomphiness of the black one. Yeah, so the black one is definitely, there's a sweet taste to it. Mm -hmm. And here is a little bit of a spicy taste to it. And a bit of a plain taste. Would you agree? Kind of, yeah. yeah. So actually, I think the combination of these two is actually quite nice then. Yeah, you get the both of, all, of, both, of both worlds. All right, let's get a big bite here. Oh yeah, the white one is definitely more, a bit more spicy. Oh, yeah, yeah. The big bite was, oh. Has some garlic inside <laughs> or something. I don't know what it has, but it has something. Oh. My favorite one is the black one. Yeah, I think the black one is better because there's a sweeter taste to it. Okay, Ooh. there's a German word. If I Google carrot cake, which I've never heard before. Rübli Torte. But Torte, the last part of the word, also translates to cake. So it seems to be a similar name in German. Yeah, this is the carrot cake that I know. Yeah, there's like, one this I know as well. An actual sweet cake. But this is not really cake, just the name is cake. Okay, and this is interesting. If I Google carrot cake Singapore, it leads me to this dish. Chai Kui Kui Kui. Chai Kui Chai Tao Kui. This one right here. Which looks... Actually, this is the same, I think. Yeah. And it says it's actually from China. So this is actually reddish. Maybe. So there's no carrot inside, this is reddish. But why is the name carrot cake then? <laughs> There's nothing to do with actual carrots. Singapore. <laughs> if any one of you knows the story about this, let us know in the comments. But it is delicious. The black one is definitely delicious. This one, a bit spicy, but this one is awesome. Okay, what's interesting now, it gets uh, very, very busy here actually. It's now yeah, 7 p.m. You can see it's getting dark pretty quickly here and it's busy here now. So many people. And I do think that this is actually quite a local place. It's like 20-25 minutes with a taxi away from the city center of Singapore. And if I have a look around, I don't see too many, as far as I can judge, too many tourists here. Okay, I want to try chicken rice here in Singapore because I heard that's very popular. Steamed chicken rice. Hi, can I get a steamed chicken rice? Having here? Yes, having here. I know the price is four dollar. That doesn't sound too much. Good price, I think. Ah, he's cutting the chicken now here. Probably this is the chicken right here. And then he chops it up right over there. And then there's going to be rice and I think cucumbers on the side. Oh, what, what sauce do you put on top? Soya sauce. Soya sauce. Oh, wow. It's very popular in Singapore, right? Huh. Yeah? Oh, yeah, that's what I heard. Okay. Ten right here. Let's find Michael. I think he was going to order some noodles somewhere. But it's okay, I don't need the spoon. Okay. I, uh, in Germany we eat rice with a fork. Okay. <laughs> so you can have my spoon, that's fine. I forgot <laughs> to get the spoon from my noodles, but uh, yeah. What are you having nice. here? Char Kui Tiao, my favorite noodles Char Kui Tiao, oh, I love that in Malaysia as well. Oh, it looks a bit different than in Malaysia, right? We have these thin noodles here. Yep, it's like a mixture of Kui Tiao noodles and thin ah. noodles and... Ah, so you also have the thick glass noodles. Yep. Ah, yeah, okay, so it's... It's a mixture. A bit different than in Malaysia, I think. Have you tried it before in Singapore? No, but it's the same taste as in Malaysia. Same taste? Yes, it's the best thing ever. Oh, Char yeah. Kui Tiao for life. <laughs> Actually, can I try one bite? Sure, right, go for you it. Can, uh, you can hold the camera? Sure. Because usually I really like Kui Tiao in Malaysia as well. And in Thailand you also have similar noodles. Is chicken inside? Uh, I think seafood. Seafood? Or some chicken? I don't know, there's some kind of meat here. You forgot here. already what you ordered? It? I, I, it said fried <laughs> kachar with you. So. Okay, let's give it a try. Yeah, the taste is very similar like in Malaysia. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You cannot go wrong with the uh, kachar with you. But the noodles are different. Yeah. You have these small noodles in between. Mm -hmm. mm. But yeah, the overall taste is very similar. And now let's try the chicken rice. Yeah, I don't know much about Singapore food yet. I'm here to learn. But I know that chicken rice is very popular here. And actually it's a very simple meal. Just rice, some chicken and some cucumbers on the side. But sometimes the simple meals are the best. Let's try the chicken first. It's a delicious chicken. 
actually I prefer the chicken that is not fried. It's okay. just uh, boiled probably. Maybe it's steamed. Steamed, ah, steamed. Can just I try one of your chicken? Sure, you sure, made sure. me curious. Just steamed chicken, healthy, delicious, mm -hmm. can't go wrong with that. Right? Very healthy, very delicious. Usually healthy food tastes like nothing, but this <laughs> healthy food tastes good. Yeah. Also, you put some uh, soya sauce on top, mm. which I can I can taste. Mm. Let's see if the rice is any special. Ah. Okay, the rice is... it's rice. Yeah, it's simple. <laughs> nothing too special about the rice, but the combination, the rice and the chicken, is really nice. But I think it's okay like that, because if you have the rice that is overpowering, mm. and the chicken which is like... It cannot go, you know? Yeah, yeah. This way the rice is simple and the chicken is like... The, goes chicken, the chicken is really nice, right? Yeah. yeah. It highlights the chicken better. Yeah. But yeah, I'm actually struggling to finish this now because I'm so full already. <laughs> I over ate so many food here today already. Yeah, well, if the food is good, <laughs> it is what it is. All right, I am super, super full now, but that was a delicious food experience here in Singapore. And yeah, if you have any more foods that I should try while being here, let me know in the comment section. And if you haven't seen my previous video, my first impressions of Singapore, then check out the video right here. Stay healthy, stay positive, and then see you on the next episode. Ciao, guys.